Oh, good day everyone. About a month ago I was given a uh, pink snapper by a top bloke, by a local angler, and um, you might have seen I did a catch and cook video with it. I did uh, deep fried snapper and squid and some snapper wings on the barbie here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Magic. Absolutely magic. Uh, tonight, this evening, I'm going to do another catch and cook video with the last of the snapper. I'm going to do a snapper curry. Um, we've got some good meals out of that fish. Um, the uh, last video that you might have seen, we've also had a few meals for the family, but uh, this is all that's left. And tonight I'm going to cook it up and enjoy it. So, I'll uh, get the fire cranked up and uh, we'll cook our curry over the fire pit. Anyway, let's get into it. So the fire's cranking up now, and um, yeah, as I was saying, I didn't actually catch a snapper myself. It was uh, it was given to me by a very generous uh, bloke who wanted to rem remain uh, anonymous, and also didn't want me to um, uh, reveal the location where it was caught, which is why there's no catching part of this catch and cook video. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, thanks to him, he knows who he is top lake and um, yeah we'll get in and cook this fish have a few cold ones while we're waiting for a, a nice bit of coals because I don't want to roar and heat under the pan I just want a, a steady heat and um, yeah sit out here enjoy the sunset next to the fire and cook my dinner not too shabby for a Saturday evening well, while we're waiting for the fire, I'll just show you what we've got. We've got uh, the snapper, of course, just a bit of onion, a bit of capsicum, a bit of zucchini, just what I happen to have in the fridge, jar of curry paste, tin of coconut milk, and an old cast iron pan from my camp kit. Very simple, very easy, but it should be bloody tasty. And then the timber industry makes it uh, pretty handy when it's time to sit around the fire pit. No shortage of offcuts. So we'll let that all just burn down to a bed of coals. That should be plenty. And then we'll start cooking. Betsy coming to join me? Hey Bets. Hey girl. Hey girl. Okay, so the fire's where we want it now. So we might as well get started. I've already got a bit of oil in the bottom of that pan. So we'll pop that on. Let that warm up for a bit. Get the veggies started before the fish. Alright, so onions, capsicum, and zucchini. Alright, so the veggies have got a little bit of a head start now, so we'll get the fish in. Okay, coconut milk. Okay, and 
end. Just stir that through. And that is pretty much ready. So I'm going to pull that off the heat because that's actually ready. Okay, let's get a little bowl of this ready. Plenty of sauce. It'd be really nice with noodles or rice or something like that. Well, there you go, folks. Snapper curry. Cooked over the fire pit with a few cold beers. All that remains now is just to kick back and enjoy my dinner in front of the fire and maybe the dog will get some. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines. See you next time. Oi, that's my seat. <laughs>